Your next will be approval of TDOT agreement for development of Jamestown Boulevard traffic study. I'm sure everyone is familiar with the uh, Kingston Pike and Campbell Station Road intersection. Uh, if you go through there during peak hours, you can see traffic backed up. Uh, it's it's it, it's a low level of service. One of the more difficult movements is the eastbound Kingston Pike movement turning left onto northbound Campbell Station Road. Uh, sometimes that, that left turn queue can back up several hundred feet and it takes several uh, signal cycles to get through the intersection. With development on all four quadrants of that intersection, adding a second left turn lane would be pretty difficult or at least very expensive. So we're looking at uh, other solutions. In this case, uh, we're looking at the possibility of, well, we want to know what it would take to make Jamestown Boulevard a bypass of the Kingston Pike and Campbell Station Road intersection for that, for that movement. Uh, in my mind, I can see likely a signal at each end of Jamestown Boulevard that's on Kingston Pike and at Campbell Station Road. Uh, some realignment of, uh, of the lanes. And uh, well, this is a traffic study to determine first, is it feasible? Is it uh, something that's gonna have a, a good effect? Uh, basically, is it justified? And if it is, what's gonna be required of it? Now this, this study is funded with LSTBG dollars, that is local and surface transportation block grant money uh, through the TPO. Uh, it has an 80-20 split of which the town is required to pay 20 percent. Uh, we have an $80,000 budget and the town would be responsible for $16,000. So staff recommends approval of the TDOT agreement for development of the Jamestown Boulevard traffic study. Okay. I'm going to move to approve this Alderman Pavlin. Alderman Burnett, I'll second. Okay, then Alderman Burnett, we'll start off with you on questions for discussion. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. I mean, anybody that lives in Farragut and travels this during school hours knows that this is the greatest cut through in the world. And so I'm very anxious to hear what the study comes back with because there's a big part of me that thinks adding two more lights in that congested area would hurt, but having this study done will tell us pretty definitively, so I'm excited to hear the results. Okay, thank you. Uh, Alderman Meyer? I'm Alderman Meyer. I support the study. I'm looking forward to the information it provides. Okay, thank you. Alderman Pinchuk? I agree. I support this study as well. Thank you. Vice Mayor Pablo? Uh, I support the study, but I want to give you guys a, a heads up about where where I'm thinking. My concern is um, certainly connectivity. I'm a big believer in connectivity everywhere. It helps uh, um, mitigate traffic issues, and um, we should always be seeking those out. And of course, the town has has done a, a great job of that over the years connecting Campbell Station Road, they connected Turkey Creek Road to Virtue Road, they connected Old Stage and Watt Road. So that, that connectivity is what helps our community absorb the increased traffic that we're seeing that's coming from around us. My concern with this particular one is Jason, Jamestown Boulevard is a Village Green. A lot of people will, will come out of Village Green on that area, walkers or uh, kids on bikes to get over to the Village Green Shopping Center. So in creating some more traffic there, I really don't want it to turn into a speedway. So I want us to be conscientious that um, that portion is really treated like a street and um, we, we need to look at opportunities for how we're going to uh, maintain lower, sp lower speeds so that we're not, um, we just don't have another raceway because we just, we don't, that's a lowering of quality of life of the folks that are in Village Green over there. So that's my only concern. And obviously I'm getting way ahead of myself by saying that, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that that's kind of where I'm thinking if this comes to pass. Okay, thank you, Vice Mayor Pavlin. 
Okay, with me, I think uh, with two signals, really at first flush, uh, it would seem to help stacking on, in both directions. I think it would uh, actually help uh, Daryl uh, as far as being able to see stacking at certain times and to, to stage those lights to where it will help. Um, I don't know how much people will use that as a cut through, but I do think that, uh, and, and if they do, then of course, with, as uh, Vice Mayor said, we'll need to, to look at it. There's no real way to, uh, to start to try to do something until you, until you see that, uh, that, it's, that it's become a problem. I don't think it will be. I think it certainly we will do need a crosswalk over there, but uh, I think really the biggest thing that we'll do is, is help stacking in both directions and being able to uh, actually uh, stage those lights to where uh, you, you've got, you flush one before you, you, you fill, the, uh, fill it up again. So uh, that's, that's all I've got. May uh, I? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is Alderman Paul, and I have one more thing to add to you because I'm not sure that everyone's aware of this. Farragut Middle School currently, um, Faith Lutheran is their emergency. Uh, last I talked to Wes Edmonds, uh, Faith Lutheran is their emergency um, place where they're supposed to go. And of course, they've never practiced that drill because there's no safe way to get all, away, get across Campbell Station Road from the high school. So um, understanding that that is also going to be an emergency place for Farragut Middle School to um, go to, the students to go to. Uh, having a, a light there would be tremendously helpful in case of an emergency. Of course, I, I don't envision that happening, but um, that's what emergency planning is for. Well, hence the crosswalk. I would also Darryl. add that, that in, the, in the future, the Ford property to the south and the Craig Allen property to the east on the east side of Campbell Station uh, both of those will likely need signals. Uh, so this would be looking at something that, well, there's going to be a signal there most likely anyway. Just my thought. Okay, thanks. Uh, I guess I'll ask for a roll call vote then. Alderman Burnett. Alderman Burnett, yes. Alderman Meyer. Alderman Meyer? Alderman Meyer, yes. Alderman Pinchuk? Alderman Pinchuk, yes. Alderman Pavlin? Alderman Pavlin, yes. Mayor Williams? Uh, Mayor Williams, yes. Uh, let the record show that the agreement has been approved as requested.